So if you're a new or beginner speedcuber, you might have found yourself in this situation. Whoa, since when have there been this many speed cubes or different brands? $30? Which one is good? So many options. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best speed cubes that you can get on a budget, or if you're a beginner looking for the best speed cube to start out with. Starting off with 2x2, two two, we have the Chi Chidi. Now, this cube really surprised me when I first got it. Out of the box, it's pretty much good to go, but with a little bit of setting up, it has better corner cutting. But I guess other than that, there's really nothing about this cube that really needs changing. It has a super smooth feeling, is controllable, can easily suit multiple turning styles, and it has the potential to perform as well as any high-end 2x2, two two, but with a budget price tag. Now there are a ton of options for good budget 3x3s, but there's really just one that stands out the most, and that is the Cubing Classroom MF3RS. Now this is the first budget 3x3 I've seen that's come with a mechanism even remotely similar to a more professional end speed cube, and it definitely shows through in the performance. Like the 2x2, this cube is basically ready to go out of the box. It was fast yet controllable, had a really enjoyable smooth feeling, and didn't corner twist or catch often. Giving it a full setup just gives it a minor touch up and honestly, this cube needs extremely little to no work at all in order to perform well. And as a bonus, it comes in four different color variations, so have your pick. Nowadays, there have been quite a few good budget 4x4 options, but my personal favorite is the Chi Chi Yuan. Again, this cube was great straight out of the box, but with a little bit of tensioning, it has great corner cutting for a 4x4, a nice buttery smooth feeling, and a fast but controllable speed. The only downside with this cube, and pretty much any other 4x4 though, is that pops can occur if you loosen it too much. So that'll just be something to keep in mind when you decide to set this thing up, but otherwise the Chi Yuan 4x4 is definitely a great bang for the buck option. So on to the last category, 5x5. The MF5 from Cubing Classroom is a clear choice for me, and believe it or not, at $9 it performs as well as a $20 5x5. Out of the box, the performance is okay if you don't necessarily want to risk messing with it a bunch, but with a little bit of loosening, the cube was able to speed up and retain its controllable and crunchy smooth feeling. Of course with all 5x5s though, if you're not used to finger tricking bigger puzzles, lockups, while they may rarely happen, are possible. Bottom line though, the MF5 is really a no-brainer for a good, low-priced 5x5 speed cube. So that is about it for what I think are the best budget and beginner starter speed cubes. Now there are three factors that I base this list of cubes off of. The first was obviously the price. Secondly was the cube's overall technical performance, and lastly, the most important factor that I took into account was the cube's ability to suit both a beginner and a professional speed cuber. Now getting more into detail on that last factor I mentioned, if you're a beginner that's improving and getting more into the speed cubing hobby, then you don't necessarily want to spend a whole insane amount more money getting a higher quality feeling speed cube. And so that's where I think that this factor comes into play in this list of cubes that I mentioned. And that about wraps it up for this video. So if you have any lingering questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.